a welcome earth signs and thank you for being here today this is your weekend love message for weekends commencing friday the 9th of july through to sunday the 11th of july 2021 on the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side will be your crowning wisdom message cards let's um jump straight into your uh, overarching crowning messages uh, uh, sign for this weekend my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me your crowning message to the question how ah, thank you first card we have is uh, uh, rain but I can't pronounce that first um, element um, uh, yeah I'm, I'm not even going to something yeah I'm not even going to pronounce it but it's rain okay <laughs> I can't pronounce that I don't know what that means I'll have to look that up and for your second card, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me your crowning message to the question, how does the soulmates of Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Weekend commencing Friday, the 9th of July through to, oh, thank you. And we have companionship animals okay and now let's have a look at your crowning wisdom and messages earth signs Okay, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me? Ooh. Okay. So we have um, a sofa and tantria of 639 hertz. That doesn't that look a little bit like a twin flame? Interesting. Okay. right okay interesting messages i feel as there's a lot of feminine energy coming in here um earth signs so whether you are the divine masculine or the divine feminine in this connection i feel as if you're being illuminated definitely in quite a big way uh crown chakra coming in here um Anyway, let's have a let's have a deep dive, um, Earth signs, into your crowning messages. Okay, Earth signs, let's have a look at your first crowning message. So we have, um, I feel it's pronounced um, fecundity, um, fecundity. Uh, rain but fecundity if that if I'm pronouncing it correctly it means fruitless what this card is letting us know the element that it's connected to is water okay earth signs and this is reminding us that everything needs water to grow okay everything needs to um connect with mother earth in some shape form or another to grow to evolve to develop um without water without cleansing without quenching that thirst um you can't survive basically and i feel with this rain card coming in you're being guided to cleanse yourself keep yourself uh replenished in terms of um being connected with divine spirit universe um, on the lessons and journeys that you are on because actually it's like uh, water to you it's like rain to you it is the journey that you're on is all about growth and evolution so i feel as if those of you that i am reading for you're definitely going through uh, growth in some shape form or another and i feel as if you're being guided to cleanse yourself perhaps from old beliefs old value systems um a way of thinking um 
sorry there i just i just realized um i'm just uh talking away and i'm not even sure if the uh the cards are in focus so i feel as if you are being guided to cleanse yourself of a different way of thinking a different way of your belief system your value system because as you do that, I feel as if this weekend, you're going to grow. You're going to grow that bit taller. You're going to grow that more in abundance. And I feel as though uh, with the animals cards coming in, companionship, um, earth signs, I feel as if you're um, either if you are, if you do have animals, they may be quite closely around you at the moment as you go through. I almost feel like a birth spurt okay um in growth uh and i feel as as though they are i almost feel very protective of you and i feel that you're being guided to spend some time with them um if you don't have animals then your animal totems are coming in i feel as if spiritually your animals are around you and i feel as if they are um picking up that you're going through a bit of a growth spurt okay um definitely walking in your power um growth abundance recognizing that we all need to be hydrated replenished watered nurtured and i feel that that's mother earth's way of encouraging us or divine spirit universe um it is almost using mother earth in a very powerful way to almost water us with knowledge with wisdom to grow and evolve and i feel that your animal totems or actual animals as pets may be around you as you go through that birth uh, growth spurt now for your crowning crowning wisdom message um is that a so uh, um whatever the uh, however you pronounce it um I just, I ask you to focus on what you see in front of you. We have this really beautiful divine feminine energy, um, which is letting me know that you're going to be, um, you're going to be recognized for something um, this weekend. I feel going into next week, something where you may receive an accolade or you may be recognized for the work that you do. It could be with regards to a connection where you're actually beginning to be recognized for what you brought into this connection. I feel as if um, those that I'm reading for, you're definitely uh, connected with Divine Spirit Universe in a really, really powerful way. And I feel as if you're being guided with the wisdom here that whatever you are being recognized for, um, Earth Signs, Whatever it is you're being recognized for, I feel as though, I'm just trying to, yeah. Whatever you are being recognized for, I feel that you're being guided not to let it um, uh, make your head swell, <laughs> so to speak. Don't let it um, bedazzle you. I feel you're being guided to stay connected with Divine Spirit Universe and really listen to what your soul is acknowledging Um Find peace within yourself. You, for some of you, this um, real new founded attention that is around you, it might make you feel a little bit uncomfortable. And I feel as though with that heart chakra, if you can see that blossom there, just being illuminated, I feel as though you're being guided just to um, connect with your heart. Um, so that you can hold your peace and almost kind of give thanks for your soul journey. Because if you look at your crowning messages, I feel as though whatever growth or evolution that you're going through, Earth Signs, um, it actually is quite a deep soul growth. But the outside may not see that. What they're seeing is what's on the outside, seeing that you're growing, you're developing, you're becoming a lot more abundant. Um, I feel as if your spirit team, um, your animal spirits or animal totems, they get what's going on. This is a soul growth. This is a soul connection within yourself that is 
being illuminated yeah um and so i feel as you get all of this attention um this weekend or going into next week um i feel like it's going to make you a little bit uncomfortable and i feel as if you're being guided don't worry about it just connect with your soul and just know that it is a soul journey that you're going on and it almost feels as if you're moving to that next level um, of your soul journey and that is what is radiating outwards um, and that is why people are looking at you kind of differently you're being recognized for work that you do in a relationship you are being recognized as that beautiful divine feminine energy that you are whether or not you are male or female um those of you it is your divine feminine energy that is absolutely radiating um this weekend and with um tantra of three six three nine hertz um well as i said earlier this is depicting the divine masculine and the divine feminine coming in coming together in union um the frequency 639 hertz represents connectivity unity love peace spirituality it's as though whoever you are connecting with i feel as if they're truly seeing you you're seeing each other um this most definitely i feel for some of you is a twin flame journey but it's a twin flame journey that is, it's, it's you guys actually connecting more on a spiritual level, a soul level, than actually um, here in the 3D. So you may not be in union, like physically in the 3D. You may not be a couple or you, you may not have even met each other but you know of each other. And the beauty with the Tantra is almost as if you're both comfortable to feel that um, unity and sensual togetherness um, on a soul level telepathically, okay? And I feel as if, if you are a man or a woman, it is the divine feminine within you that is really being embraced it almost feels as though earth signs the divine feminine within you is just in in its full glory um to be honest with you really feeling the senses um that light within it's as though your soul has just totally ignited coming into that kind of soul alignment with your twin flame regardless of whether or not you're in union or not there is an understanding there is a a common ground there is a unity that on the astral plane you both have definitely come into alignment and i feel as though that is the wisdom that's coming in and for you for those of you that um resonate with your uh feminine divine feminine energy whether you're male or female that light of connecting with your twin flame on the astral plane is what is being radiated out in the 3d and that is why all of a sudden people are going to be looking at you like recognizing um the good work that you've done recognizing some of you may even be told that you're glowing, you're shining, you know, uh, if you're a woman, are you pregnant, that kind of thing, but it isn't, it's the fact that you and your twin flame are in unity, but you're in unity on a very, very deep soul level on the astral plane. Um, Very interesting message, I don't quite know what to make of it, to be honest with you, um, but I'm just going with... Um, what I'm picking up and I do feel I'll be honest with you earth signs I just feel a sense of um peace obviously I I I you know I'm a woman and I do connect with my divine feminine side so I do feel this sense of calm and peace and um just at one i just feel at one i feel that energy whether or not it's my own personal energy or whether it is the card the, the the energy of the cards that i'm picking up connecting with my energy 
that's what I'm feeling, okay? Um, there's definitely growth. And I feel as if, it almost feel as if everything living around you, animals, humans, um, are seeing this radiation, uh, radiance that's been uh, radiated um, through you. Very, very powerful. It just feels as if um, earth signs, you're just glowing. You're just glowing because there's a light within you that has ignited, but it's ignited on a soul level, which is really, really beautiful. All right, earth signs. Um, if this message resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. It just helps to push this video out to other earth signs. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please feel free to do so. Uh, and also returning subscribers, welcome, welcome. Thank you for all of your support, your donations. I'm truly, truly grateful. And I really do hope that you get a useful message out of this weekend's reading. All right, um, let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does these soulmates of Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Weekends commencing Friday the 9th of July through to Sunday the 11th of July 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all. As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. So beautiful energy, Taurus is, um, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, sorry, um, of you connecting with your uh, twin flame. Um, on that astral plane and you know something it feels as though the connection is going to blossom and evolve and come into the 3d on earth okay let's um focus on our beautiful tauruses my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me how does these soulmates of taurus sun moon rising and venus feel towards them in love weekends commencing Thank you. Oh, so we have the Four of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups and we have the Queen of Wands. Beautiful. And for our Virgos, please. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Whoop, thank you. Okay, that's quite a lot of cards. Okay, so we have the star card. We have the king of pentacles. We have the two of wands. We have the full card. We have the five of wands and we have the page of swords. Now, I, to be honest with you, Virgo, I'm not sure if all of those cards just fell out. Um, but uh, I was guided to take them. So I'm just going to stick with that. And to be honest with you, I've already laid them out. Um, so they need to be read um, as they have appeared. And for our beautiful, beautiful Capricorns, please, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does the soulmates of Cap... Thank you. First card out is the hangman. My Oh, and then we have, okay, we have the moon card. We have the king of swords. We have the Ace of Pentacles and we have the Ten of Wands. Okay, so uh, Capricorn and Virgo, evidently uh, some strong messages coming in for you or some detailed messages. Earth signs, um, if you uh, want to click onto the links down below in the, in the description box, it will take you to your respective um, zodiac signs if you don't want to listen to the whole uh, video. So... Check the description box below, click onto your link and it will take you straight to your reading. Um, right now, we're just going to focus on the beautiful, beautiful energy of our Tauruses. OK, so Taurus, for your first card, we have the Four of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups and we have the Queen of Wands. OK, 
So Tauruses, what I am picking up, whoever you are connecting with, I feel as if um, you offered them a cup. You offered them a cup of love and I feel as if they didn't take it, okay? Um, yeah, they offered you a cup of love and you didn't take it. And I feel as though this weekend, um, there's something about this person I feel that um, you're being quite drawn to with this Queen of Cups. I feel as if whether they are male or female, it it feels as if that you are recognizing this energy up here, okay? I feel as if you are being awoken to see that this person is actually got quite a lot of love for you. They may not be speaking it. And I feel through whatever experience that you've gone with them, they've grown quite a lot. And I feel as if you are recognizing that. With the Queen of Wands energy, um, again, whether you are male or female, I feel as if the divine feminine within you. So, for example, if you are a man, okay, your divine feminine energy within you is taking action. I feel to connect with this person because I feel as if you're seeing them as your twin flame. And I feel that the action that you're taking towards them is connecting on that astral plane to come together um, because you didn't accept this cup of love. You're seeing this person in a very, very different light this weekend. That's what I'm picking up. Let's have a look at your clarifiers. Yeah, and the bottom of the deck is the devil card. Transformation. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or you could have Capricorn in your chart. Thank you. So I feel as though um, whoever you are connected to, I feel as though they do feel um, as though they have a soul contract with you. They don't particularly understand why you didn't take that cup of love they want to move on past this and um, with the two of swords i feel as if they want to push through they want to have a discussion with you but i feel as if they don't know what to say um i feel as if this person has gone through some healing some growth um definitely going forward and i feel as if they've, they've changed that they, they, there's been a there's an air of change about them and i feel as if they want to progress they want to communicate they want to balance out this connection they want reconciliation with you Things may have gone um, a little bit off kilter, Taurus, when you didn't accept this cup from them. Um, you guys may have gone for a bit of a period of not speaking for a while. I feel as though this weekend that's changing, um, but they, I feel they are being quite protective of their heart. They do want justice. They want reconciliation. And I feel as it's because they feel... Um, they feel that they're, that you you both have a soul contract. I feel with this page of cups, I feel as if you're going to receive this person um, with love, okay? Because this person sees you coming towards them with a cup of love, which is really, really beautiful. I feel as though um, some sort of communication um, with this person this weekend is this connection. I feel like you're seeing this person in a very different light for some reason. And I feel as though you're going to give a token of your affection, whether it is, <laughs> I don't think so, but some of you may be uh, bold enough to apologize or um, whatever actions or whatever it is you give this person um, this weekend, it's to do with you know, almost an apology that you didn't take that cup that they offered you. And I feel as if you're coming in with an offer, um, a very small offer. It, it just simply could be that you start talking. Yeah. Um, and the fact that you start talking, you may be um, quite gentle with your words or, you know, if you actually have a conversation on the telephone or meet face to face, I feel as, uh, do you know what I'm picking up? It's like your tone is going to be quite soft. Um, you may have a lot of eye contact. Um, you know, you may offer to take this person out for a drink or a coffee or a meal or something. 
that is your way of offering this person or giving them the green light that actually you're seeing them in a very different light. Um, you see that they have a lot of love for you. Um, and I feel as if there might be a little bit of regret that you didn't take that cup. Um, I feel there's a regret from the person that you're connecting to with this Queen of Swords, who is this Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups energy. Um, they may have cut you out with the Queen of Swords because that Queen of Swords came out of my mouth twice. So that you guys may have cut each other out. Um, it feels as though this weekend you are both kind of coming back together. It feels as though, uh, honestly, Taurus, you're seeing this person in a very different light. Um, and I feel as though as you approach this person, um, you're kind of giving them the green light that, um, you know, you've got a lot of love for them as well. And I feel spiritually on a soul level with that queen of wands, you are definitely connecting with them on the astral plane. Um, almost really feeling that, that sensual unity connection coming together, even though um, you may just be uh, just talking in the 3D. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you clarify... How does the soulmates of Taurus? Thank you. Oh, look, and our good friend, the devil, came out. Um, yeah, Taurus, I feel as if you've gone through transformation. Again, uh, you could be dealing with Capricorn or you could have Capricorn in your chart. I feel as though um, you feel bound to this person now because I feel that you guys have connected on that astral plane. Uh, Taurus, you may have had dreams about this person. Um, they may have had dreams about you, but there's been a, a, a shift, a very, very big shift in this relationship. But do you know what is really beautiful? It started at the soul. It started at the soul level. Major transformation for you. You're definitely seeing this person in a very different light. Thank you. And on your side, yeah, I feel that um, you are watching this connection quite closely. I feel as if you are getting messages. Remember, I just said that you might be having dreams. These little birds are messages. You may be getting messages from your spirit team in your dreams or signs or synchronicities. And it almost feels as if you're being guided with the messages that you're giving to come towards this person to clear something up. And I feel that you're observing, you're observing your transformation, you're observing however you guys have connected on that astral plane. You are now observing and seeing the radiance of this person and actually this beautiful unconditional love that they have for you. Um, yeah, and again, with the swords here, there may be a lot of regret that you didn't take that cup. But you know what? Maybe there was an element that you need to, to level up, to grow, to evolve. It almost feels as if this person's love watered you. It hydrated you. It may have woken up um, something within you around love. And I feel that you're leveling up now. Thank you. Yeah. Look at this. I feel as if you're coming in to clear out misunderstandings, miscommunication. The uh, Seven of Cups is misunderstandings, mis miscommunication, but it's also about choices. I feel as if you're now ready to make a choice to come into union with this person in the 3D, and it's because you're in union in the 5D. Beautiful. All right, uh, Tauruses, let's have a look at your advice messages. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me your advice messages for the collective of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in love? For weekends commencing Friday, thank you. Ah, oh, look at that creation. The flames of destruction will ignite a rebirth. That's exactly what's happened. Your sacral chakra is absolutely alight. Um, I feel as though whatever connection you guys have made on the astral plane, it almost, I mean, look at the, I mean, this just looks like spirals. It's as if you're both so entwined. Um, I feel as if it, it was quite passionate. Um, a passionate union um, and 
what's happened is that you're feeling this person, you're feeling them on a soul level. And what it's done, it's created a rebirth in this connection. Really beautiful. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me your advice for the collective? Oh, thank you. And then look at that. We have balance, chakra balance, equilibrium. You are balanced now, Taurus. Um, having connected with your twin flame, this person, um, this queen of cups on the astral plane, all things work best in conjunction with all things. I feel as if you're recognising that this is a connection that you can't fight, um, you can't ignore anymore, um, because the intensity of this connection has literally been transformational for you. And it's it's all coming together. It feels as if it's coming together. Um, you may also be radiating because your heart and soul feels as though it's it's connected, it's connected with your twin flame, it's connected and it's 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 happy, it's joyful, it's, you know, um, people may look at you and think, why are you radiating all of a sudden? You know, if you are a female, uh, you know, are you pregnant? There is this glow about you and it's because um, there's been a passion that's been ignited within you that's created a rebirth over something that, um, I feel that you were supposed to accept that cup of love because I feel as if this person will help you grow and evolve. Um, it almost feels as if they will be your own personal um, nourisher, if that makes sense, and vice versa. Uh, it works both ways um, as you mirror each other. It's as if you will both encourage each other to grow, to evolve and to level up on your spiritual journey. And your final card, intuition, third eye chakra, is definitely being opened. Intuition is the little tug that pulls you towards your light. Um, there is no doubt in my mind, Taurus, that whoever you are connecting to is definitely part of your light, okay? Um, and I feel as if your third eye chakra is most definitely waking up to the significance of this um, connection with who you uh, didn't accept a cup of love. This is beyond a uh, 3D connection. Uh, this is, I can't even articulate it, it's so deep. Um, it's a, a soul depth that uh, I, I feel as if it's, it's just transformed you and I feel until that energy kind of settles in your spirit, um, that's when you're going to really start all of a sudden um, your intuition. I feel as though it's going to get brighter and brighter and brighter. It's like this person and you coming into union on the astral plane. It's like it's switched switch to switch in you it's definitely hydrated you hydrated your soul um and i feel that everything living around you animals included are just going to be almost drawn to that light that's within you and when you come together it's almost like an, an i feel like a unstoppable um light that the world needs to be honest okay i'm going to leave that there for you taurus if this message resonates please click that thumbs up button on the video subscribe if you haven't done so already until next time i'm sending you loads and loads of love peace and light take care and we're going to move on to virgo okay virgos okay for you you've got three um extra cards that have come out um and i felt to do the formation in this way so whoever you are connecting with i feel as if with the star card here in fact in fact let me just go through the cards. so you have the star the king of pentacles the two of wands the fool card the five of wands and the page of swords i feel as though whoever you are connecting with i feel as though they do see you as their wish fulfillment you have lived many many lives with this person and i feel as though you definitely have connected on that um astral plane you have connected with your twin flame um a very very yeah in in a very powerful way to the point where i feel as if 
uh, what you guys have experienced on the astral plane. Um, you want to, uh, they want to come in with a solid offer to you. I feel that it's them that's coming towards you with a solid offer. Um, I feel as if you're at a crossroads. You're not sure whether or not what direction to take with this person. Um, and I feel as if you're trying to look at things from all different perspectives, all different heights. There is something about this person I feel that you're quite drawn to. Um, they're quite drawn to you. Um, I feel that this person wants a new beginning. So it tells me that there was something that kind of was unbalanced. And at the center of your reading, you've got the five of wands. There was a lot of internal conflict, either with them over something that was said or done. That's why they want a new beginning. But also with you, I feel as if there is a conflict as to maybe asking yourself what what is the purpose what what is the true purpose of this person in your life um i feel that you do feel this really strong pull towards this person but it almost feels as if you have really got your rational head on um but somehow i feel as though with this page of swords um there's something about this person that i they're either going to do or say something towards you this this weekend that's going to indicate to you that whatever created this internal conflict between the two of you, um, that they are coming in and they're being very clear that they want a new beginning. They want a fresh start. Um, there's a lot of love here. This person has spent many, many lives with you and you are their wish fulfillment. You're at a crossroads and I feel as if you are observing the connection, observing the internal conflict and I feel that you want to come in and clear something up. Let's have a look at your clarifiers. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you clap? Thank you. And look at that. We've got the, well, we've got the full card in a funny position. Um, so I feel as though this person may be unsure whether or not you want to have um, a new beginning with them. Okay. And I would say that would be correct because you're at a crossroads. You've got a decision to make. And whilst you make that decision, you may be really watching this connection, particularly you're watching and observing um, the internal conflict that it created and that this person with whatever they've done or said created within you. But I feel as if they are definitely coming a lot slower, slow and steady, but with a very, very solid um, offer. I also feel as though um, that you may also want to take things slowly, slow things down. I feel that you do want to um, want them to come towards you with an offer, but it also could mean that you want to give them an offer, uh, a solid offer as well. Yeah, with the uh, seven of coins, I feel as if this person has put a lot of work and energy into this connection. They have definitely nurtured it. They have definitely watered it. They have grown through this experience with you. I feel that you have also grown, but there's something I feel that you may be seeing from a different height, a different perspective. Actually, um, there's just something that's radiating about this person um, that you can't ignore. And I feel it's because of this connection on the astral plane. I feel as if, Virgo, you may not have cottoned on just quite yet, um, that you guys have um, come into union on the um, on the 5D, or you may have, but you are, you're trying to look at things from a different perspective. It almost feels as if, Virgo, you're rationalizing it. All right. With the Queen of Pentacles, I feel as though, look, the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, this is a divine connection. That There is no doubt about it. Two cards of the same suit representing the twin flame. I feel as if this person, um, they may have taken back their offer. Um, yeah, because look, both of you. So it feels as if Oh, I see. Okay, so this person's energy, whether they're male or female, I feel as if they want a new beginning and they're coming towards you this weekend a bit slow and steady, very cautiously, um, and you're seeing it very clearly as a solid offer. 
I feel, and I said this, that you may want to um, offer them a solid offer as well. The Queen of Pentacles is your energy. I feel as if you're coming in quite humble. I feel as if the road that you're going to take is to uh, approach this person, uh, letting them know, giving them the green light that you do recognize them. This is them. Um, there, there is something that you are um, giving them accolade for, recognizing uh, this connection. Um, and I feel as if you have a newfound appreciation for this person. And I feel whether you're male or female, you're coming into this person with a solid offer. Um, trying to put conflict behind you, but you're still mindful of it. You're still on the lookout um, to anything that is going to kind of disrupt the connection in any way. Thank you. Yeah, look at that. A tower moment happens between the two of you. We, well, we saw that with the five of wands and it created a lot of conflict between the two of you for sure. I feel as if you both are moving past this now. Yeah, because um, with the Nine of Cups coming here, you recognise that this person is your wish fulfilment, your happiness. And I feel as if you have a lot of love for this person. And I feel as if you do want to rush in. Um, you want to rush in and embrace this love, this happiness, this wish fulfilment. Uh, so you both are most definitely mirroring each other. There's no doubt about that. Um, and I feel as though it is to do with this unity and this connection that you both have had um, in the astral plane. You're both leveling up, growing, evolving. It almost feels as if you are both um, nourishing each other with this rain energy, the water energy, pouring in um, uh, love, love, consideration, compassion. Um, and all those around you are going to recognize this beautiful light that's been ignited um, in you by this person and vice versa. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's have a look at your um, advice. Thank you. Dreams. What did I say? You guys have, you, you guys have hooked up on the astral plane. Third eye chakra, you're seeing. Dreams are where your mind translates the divine. Absolutely. Um, you and whoever you are connecting with Virgo have hooked up on the astral plane. And, you know, you are beginning to see through your third eye chakra in the 3D um, what that unity and oneness felt like on that 5D. And that is why I feel as if you you have a choice and i feel that you are going to go towards this person with this um with this solid offer because you see them as your divine counterpart you see it now you may not have seen it before and i say that because this person wants a new beginning with you so it tells me that you guys were out of alignment in some shape form or another but I feel in your dreams, you connected on the 5D and you now have a, a, a new appreciation for this person. Um, you may have also uh, connected with your soul and what your soul has been yearning for, craving for around this person. There's something about them that I almost feel bedazzles you a little bit. Um, and it is that light. It's the connection that you guys had on that astral plane. And we have compassion. Didn't I say that? Um, it's like you're bringing growth, compassion. Um, you're you're watering each other's souls. You're you're hydrating each other, each other's hearts, and resolve your conflicts with compassion. Yeah, there was conflict there, and I feel as if you're being guided to remember, remember the unity and the oneness and the peace and the connectivity with this person in dreams, in on that astral plane. And I feel as if you're being guided to treat whatever conflict happens between the two of you, treat it with um, compassion. 
because I feel it's your heart that's growing, evolving, leveling up. That's what I feel, Virgo. This person has helped you level up when it comes to the heart space. And one more advice, please, for our beautiful Virgos. Thank you. Our love. Love is a verb, so make it your most treasured action. Heart chakra. Um, absolutely. Uh, this is a love that is um, undeniable. It is divinely guided. Um, this is the other half of your soul. Um, you know, I mean, we all have one soul, but uh, they are they are your yin to your yang, your yang to your yin. They give you balance. And I feel as if this growth, it almost feels as if you're watering each other, hydrating each other from maybe past heartaches that maybe have chipped away at your heart chakra. That's all going, that's all healing. Um, and I feel as if it's igniting this real beautiful light of your, your soul singing and dancing and happy. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, Virgos, I'm going to leave that one there for you. If this message resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. Let's move on to our beautiful Capricorns. Okay, Capricorns. Okay, so for you, Capricorn, we have the Hangman, the Moon card, the King of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. You could be dealing with a Pisces, or you could have Pisces in your chart. So Capricorn, whoever you are connecting with, I feel as if they are uh, spiritually still stagnant. I feel as if they are observing this connection. They may be feeling a little bit scared about uh, approaching you or communicating with you because they feel Feel as if you may have cut them out um they see you as protecting your heart okay and look at that energy in that card um it almost feels as if you're quite stern quite serious not wanting to really speak you don't want any further discussions and i feel as if you are strongly uh standing by that okay um I feel as if this person wants to come in with a solid offer. Um, and for some reason, I feel as though, um, I feel as though you stand in your ground of not speaking with this person or having cut them out of your life as is actually quite burdensome for you. I feel as though with the moon card, there is something that is um, that was in the dark that is being revealed. And I feel it is that this is your twin flame. That's what's being revealed. Um, Capricorns, whether you're male or female, I feel as though it makes you really uncomfortable that, that this connection with this person is so deep. You almost just don't want to talk about it. But they're coming in with a solid offer. Ooh, okay. Do you know, it's really interesting. Uh, Capricorn, out of all of the water signs, came out with really deep, um, meaningful soul messages. Yours is just, wow. Hardcore uh, Capricorns. Yeah, look. This person is um, in this hangman position. I feel as if they are trying to come out of it. Um, observing this connection. I feel as if they do really genuinely want to approach you. Um, but I feel that they're quite scared. Yeah, they've gone through major transformation. Capricorn, this is, this is your energy that's coming in here. I feel as if whatever they have gone through with you, um, I feel like it has transformed them in a really major way. Uh, this person may have been waiting for you to communicate with them. Scared that you didn't, maybe coming towards you with a solid offer, okay, of some sort. And it could be literally just to speak to you. But I feel as if they're scared. They're scared that you have really cut them out. Mm. Do you know something, Capricorns, that I am picking up here? You have you have felt this person 
on a soul level but i feel as if you're not even entertaining it you you may you may feel that soul connections twin flames is all a little bit cuckoo but do you know something it's burdensome for you because the connection that you feel for this person is undeniable and there is something about them that is radiating something that you you're just i feel that you're just drawn to them in the same way that they are drawn to you. Whatever was said, it was quite cutting, but this person, it feels as if they know they have to come in with a solid offer. Look at that, the moon, clarifying the moon. This person is really scared, but it feels as though, as a twin flame that's coming in, it, al it, <clears throat> it almost feels as though they need to persevere because it's part of your growth. It's part of your spiritual growth. It almost feels as if they have to bite the bullet and perhaps not pay too much attention. Uh, pay too much attention to how you are reacting to them on the 3D. I feel as if this person is going on the feeling of that soul connection of what you have experienced on the astral plane. There is something about you that is, it connects, it, it's like you are connected to their heart, to divine spirit. This is, they're seeing something in you that you haven't quite yet seen in them, okay? But you feel it, you feel it. You may not want to talk about it, but you feel it. And with the Sun card here, you could be dealing with Leo or you could have Leo in your chart. I feel as if this person coming towards you, um, it's actually going to break the ice. It's going to um, bring you a lot of joy, a lot of happiness. I almost feel as if you're going to have a newfound respect for this person. Because they're not operating with you on a 3D level at all. They are certainly operating and trusting divine spirit universe of the experience that they've had with you on the astral plane. I feel as if um, when you guys hooked up on the, uh, on the 5D Capricorn, I feel as if you went through a phase of manifesting this this oneness, this unity, this connection that you had with this person, you were manifesting into the uh, into the 3D. That's why you're happy, because I feel as if this person is still going to come to you. They're absolutely bricking it. Um, but I feel as if you're going to be absolutely elated um, because the manifestations that you've done, you're wishing, you're hoping, you're praying, you're not having to do that anymore because they're coming towards you, which means that you can put down that burden. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guide, thank you. And look at that. With the king of wands, whether you are male or female, you are taking action towards this person because your dreams, your wishes, your prayers, your manifestations, your intentions have been answered. Uh, they're coming in, being that bright sunshine that they are. You are drawn to them in a very powerful way. And I feel as though it's because you've connected on that 5D. This person has helped you um, level up, okay? And I feel as though whatever happens between the two of you um, that is triggering them to be quite still, but yet still come in with a solid offer to you, I feel as if you both leveled up each other. You brought a really powerful learning to this person, but they haven't given up um, because I feel as if they are strong in their conviction um, of what they feel for you. No doubt about it. And I feel as if you're elated that they are coming towards you and you're going to take passionate action towards them. Whatever you felt on that astral plane, um, it surpasses any kind of... 3D angst, disagreement, upset. It's just, it's like it's all irrelevant, if that makes sense. So let's have a look at your bonus cards. So the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. I feel as if you're putting down um, that Ten of Wands as they come towards you with a solid offer. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you clarify? 
How does the soulmates of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Weekends commencing. Friday the 9th of July. Thank you. Look at that. I can't even make that up. With the Eight of Wands, this person is coming back and forth uh, with swift communication to you this weekend. And the driver behind it is because they're coming in to uh, give you a solid offer. Okay. They want to progress this connection with you. There's no doubt um, in their mind who you are and what you mean to them. I feel as if with this Queen of Cups energy, you may respond with uh, love. Whether you are male or female, you may respond. I mean, you're going to take action toward, towards them. And I feel as if you're going to respond with a lot of love. But you may not speak it as unspoken love. But you know, you know from the experience that you've had with them in the astral plane that this person is coming towards you with nothing but love. And I feel that you're going to reciprocate it accordingly. Hence, putting down the burden. Yeah, look at that. With the seven of swords and the nine of wands, you want the communication, okay? Um, but you're going to be quite defensive, a little bit guarded. I feel as if you're going to be really analysing what you say, what they say, really looking in the detail of any kind of conversation. And it's part and parcel of you going through that process of putting down the burden over whatever happened between the two of you. But you at some point did cut them out and it was burdensome for you. I feel as if you are absolutely elated that they are coming towards you with communication. I feel as if you're going to re reciprocate with love, but within yourself, you're just going to be um, really overanalyzing it, a little bit protective. You don't want to go down that road again of having to cut this person out again, I feel. Um, but they are uh, your wish fulfillment. You manifested this person coming back into your life and I feel it's because of this unity this oneness of coming together on the astral plane beautiful let's have a look at your advice my angels and spirit guides of the divine thank you yeah look at that fearlessness turn your warrior into a warrior um this card here is known as the wounded warrior i feel as if yeah you are not going to worry you're going to put down this burden and literally turn it into warrior mode you want the conversations but you're going to be protective and that is you taking that action it the solar plexus is about the wisdom and power within you to take action which you're going to do with that king of wands energy but it's almost this knowing it's this knowing that this person is really significant there's something that you're very very drawn to and it does scare you yeah it scares you um but i also feel it scares them as well but they are they are certainly taking their worries and they're turning it into a warrior because they're still coming towards you with a solid offer forgiveness oh capricorn heart chakra forgiveness you'll find freedom in forgiveness absolutely and i feel as though this is not just forgiveness of whatever derailed this connection um capricorn with this person i feel as though it's forgiveness for yourself as well self forgiveness because i feel as though uh, before you guys connected on the astral plane and you just felt this soul oneness this connection which was so strong um that when you are in your 3d self um it, it's almost kind of like shit how could i you know have cut this person out this person is like my everything they're part of my growth they they are part of me um and i feel as if you're going to have a bit of regret for that and i feel that you're being guided to forgive yourself it will free you to further grow and develop also in conjunction with forgiving this person as well and we have your final advice card, which is trust. Trust your intuition. It is in contact with a higher source of knowledge, third eye chakra, absolutely. Um, for those of you that um, may have thought that twin flames, 
soulmates and all of that jazz is a little bit cuckoo. I'll tell you something now, you're turning a, a turn in a corner um, because I feel as if your intuition is kicking in. Uh, your third eye chakra is being unveiled. There is no need to have a burden with this person. There is no need to cut them out. Uh, this can be resolved and I feel as if you can move to the next level of your spiritual and your soul growth as you continue on your evidently twin flame journey. All right, Capricorns, I'm going to leave that there for you. If this message resonates, please click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye bye.